think of before is made possible now with the new generation of wireless. I mean, just imagine a few short years ago, even looking at video on a handheld device and how cumbersome that could be. And now, looking at video is becoming a reality, and as you heard Barry say, the levels to which WiMAX takes it to is, is something we've never seen before. And can you imagine if a first responder having to go to a scene of a crime or an accident or a crisis had information about that scene before they got there? We were talking to some first responders in Los Angeles in a, in a heavy, heavy gang-related area. They put cameras up on top of um, you know, very, very large buildings that can scan the area and give first responders in, that, in, in, in going to a scene in that particular gang-related area where there's a lot of gang crimes, first-hand video feeds of what's going on in that area before they get there. Stuff that can save lives. Real-time identity verification. Whether you're scanning the number plate of a car from half a mile away from a car going at 70 miles an hour or a constable or a policeman on the street entering that information to find out if that car's been stolen or if it's involved in an amber alert. This is critical data and information that our first responders need. Wireless and the new generation of wireless is making it possible. Consider situation awareness. How much more effective could first responders have been in 9-11 or in Columbia or in any of the incidents that we remember in recent memory? Tactical pursuit and containment. Now I would tell you that um, the usage of Amber Alert has kind of been one step in that direction. But what about a school bus full of children? and knowing exactly where that school bus is. We had a, a situation recently where parents of special needs children had to meet their children at a bus stop because they're special needs children. So if that bus is late, how do they know? Through GPS tracking, they know exactly where that bus is. Through on-bus video monitoring, they know exactly where their child is sitting. They don't have to make calls or panic or worry and that child is met safely when they arrive at their bus stop. I was talking to a policeman recently who said, you know, Denzel, in a crime scene, even within one hour, a lot of the evidence on that crime scene has changed. Can't help it. It just happens. Influx of people, even the police themselves, who are trying to extract evidence. The nearer you get to being able to recover information and data in real time and transmit that real time, the greater the chances of success that you'll get the right perpetrator of the crime. So the 4G ecosystem can change public safety. You talk you heard Barry talk about just now a, a city being a hotspot. Well if a city really is a hotspot and you have resiliency built in, and you have recovery built in, then it doesn't matter if you have a, a crisis that challenges that communication, because that communication will still go on. The first responders will still get that prioritized access.